streaming live, this is News Nation Now. Welcome to News Nation Now. I'm Jisoo Ki. That's a live look there in New Orleans. You've made it to Friday. It's March 12th. Here's your update. It's officially been one year since life as we knew it changed. Thursday marked the anniversary of when the World Health Organization declared the coronavirus a global pandemic. President Joe Biden delivered his first primetime address last night, looking back at an unprecedented year in the U.S. and delivering some hopeful news. The president announced that he's directing states to make all adults eligible for a vaccine no later than May 1st. His goal? To get the country, quote, closer to normal by the 4th of July. And in another major milestone, Biden signed the $1.9 trillion coronavirus relief package into law yesterday. The American Rescue Plan extends emergency unemployment benefits and sends $1,400 in direct payments to eligible Americans. The White House says those deposits could hit bank accounts as early as this weekend. Biden and Vice President Kamala Harris will deliver remarks this afternoon on the coronavirus relief. We'll be streaming that live on NewsNationNow.com and on our app. Day four of jury selection in the trial of Derek Chauvin begins today. It comes after a judge reinstated a third-degree murder charge against the former Minneapolis police officer accused in the death of George Floyd. The decision gives prosecutors another path for conviction, and it resolves an issue that might have delayed the trial for months. Chauvin has pleaded not guilty to all charges against him. New York lawmakers are launching an impeachment investigation into Governor Andrew Cuomo. That's according to the Speaker of the State Assembly. At least 120 state legislators are calling on Cuomo to resign after allegations of sexual harassment and inappropriate behavior made by six women. Cuomo has denied any wrongdoing, saying he won't step aside. Forecasters say a potentially historic snowstorm is taking shape out west. It's expected to pummel parts of the Rockies and High Plains bringing up to six feet of snow to Colorado. We'll be tracking the cold front that's expected to arrive today. Follow along on NewsNationNow.com. And trending this morning, I can't quite wrap my head around this, but uh, a piece of digital art has sold for nearly $70 million. The artist named Beeple posted works online daily for 5,000 days and turned it into a collage. Christie's then auctioned it off for $69.4 million. The sale marks the first time a major auction house has sold a digital-only piece, and it puts Beeple among the top most valuable living artists. Wow, I wonder what he's going to do with that big payday. I'm G. Thanks for watching. Stay with us throughout the day for breaking news coverage. And, of course, News Nation's broadcasts start at 5 Central with Early Edition with Nicole Burley. Have a great Friday, everybody.